Welcome to MDBMTG, this is card of the day. The card of the day for this day, Sunday, is Goblin Game. Goblin Game is one of my favorite cards, and truly one of the weirdest cards Magic has ever printed. Let's talk about what it is. Goblin Game is a sorcery for 5 red red. Its oracle text reads, Each player hides at least one item, then all players reveal them simultaneously. Each player loses life equal to the number of items he or she revealed. The player who revealed the fewest items then loses half his or her life rounded up. If two or more players are tied for the fewest, each loses half his or her life rounded up. The oracle text is nearly exactly the same, but the word object is replaced with item. Not sure of the logic behind that, but sure, I guess I had a reason. This card has only been printed once, back in Plane Shift. How likely is it to be reprinted? Sadly, not likely at all. As fun as this card is, there are fundamental problems that would mean reprints would be problematic. The first is Magic Online. Somebody in the comments, please, PLEASE come up with some way this would work. Playing this in Magic Online would either break the system or more like a result in nothing happening or a draw. Secondly, this would piss off Magic players who take themselves way too seriously, though that may not be a bad thing. Thirdly, and most importantly, this doesn't fit the way magic is set up currently. A card like this worked in Plane Shift, but it just wouldn't fit in a set like Dragons of Darkir. The last best chance it has to be released is Magic Origins, the final core set, but I wouldn't hold my breath. It's legal in every format, so you can still have your goblin gaming fun in the Eternal formats. How expensive is it? Not at all. It's a weird old card that you can pick up for about 50 cents. So there's no reason not to get one. I think this card is awesome and brilliant, it's fun, and doesn't quite take as much time as something like Sherazad, for example. It also requires a lot of choice. You have to guess how many objects... items. Your opponents can hide and figure out how many objects... items you can hide yourself, but you have to be cautious and not hide too many, or you'll put yourself in an awful position. Not to mention the judge calls and what are items and hidden. This card doesn't have any totally practical uses, but it's still a fun card. It's an excellent way to shake up any game of magic be it in a tournament with strangers or around your kitchen table with friends. It isn't broken and I highly doubt it will ever be banned, so love it or hate it, it's here to stay. Oh, ho, ho, it's Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for a daily card of the day, a weekly podcast, and extra magic gathering content. Be sure to check out my other channels too. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.